We are back at Omar's making some more progress on the Nissan Gloria. In the last video, we left off with taking off the quarter panel on the driver's side and determining where we need to drill out the spot welds for the trunk pan to come out. We also received some very unfortunate news. One of Omar's neighbors has complained enough to the point where Will County sent him a letter saying that he's only allowed to have four cars on the driveway. And as you can see, there's one, two, three, four here already. And that includes the front yard. And there's already cars up front there. So basically what that means is the Gloria project has to be sped up. And this car really does have to be done by around Thanksgiving time. And another major thing that was mentioned in that letter is that half cut has to go. So today we need to work on getting that thing broken down. Omar was nice enough to let me use this garage space to begin with in order to repair the Gloria. So I'm going to try my best to knock it out in a timely manner. And Travis is also in the middle of a major overhaul as well. Engine bay, tubs. K-A-T. So he's on crunch time as well. well. Let's check out this half cut. My goal today is to break this half cut down into all of the pieces that I need to use. That way I can discard the rest of the scrap metal and then this can be one less concern for Omar. I did go to a couple hardware stores on my way here because I wanted to buy the Milwaukee band file. It basically speeds up the process of getting out all the spot welds instead of using a drill bit. So I figured I'd give it a try, but unfortunately no store in the area had it in stock. So I went to Harbor Freight and we'll see if their product does the trick. Also got some ammunition to make sure we can get the job done. If not, we'll just have to use the traditional spot weld drill bit method. I've never actually used one of these before, but a lot of you guys in the comments have recommended that I get one to speed up the process. So we'll put it to the test. Let's test it out on the T-bone side, just in case I mess up. All right, I guess it's not too bad. Honestly, this tool is already going to be faster because I don't have to drill a pilot hole through each one and then go back with the spot wheel drill bit and drill it out all over again. So with that being said, let's grind off all the adhesive from the window trim. After grinding some of the adhesive off here, I started making my way to the wheel well and I noticed that the previous owner of this half cut of the Gloria has rolled the rear quarters, which is really unfortunate because that makes it a lot harder to drill the spot welds. Basically, I have to attempt to unroll it and then drill out the spot welds. Also gotta take off this trim here. I also need to take off this rear bumper. And the way things are looking, I might as well just flip this thing up so it's sitting like that. I think that'll make it a lot easier to access all these points on the bottom. But can I lift this by myself? I'm gonna take off the rear bumper before I flip this thing over. That way it doesn't get damaged because I think I'm gonna try and jack it from the rear end somewhere in order to get enough tilt. So I have it jacked from the frame rail right now. That way I have access to get these lower screws off the bumper. So I've decided that before I flip the Gloria on its face, or I guess on its half face, I want to drill out or grind all the spot welds that I possibly can in the rear here because it might be too tall for me to even reach it. So I've grinded away all the adhesive here so I can see all the spot welds I need to get out. And if you guys remember also the quarter panels are welded to the center garnish from the factory. You can kind of see it right here. So I'm going to have to make a very precise cut on there. But I can also take off the bash bar finally to gain access to the bottom here. Because if you guys remember, my Gloria, when I was taking it apart, was so smashed in that I had no access to these two bolts. Taking off these two bolts is all you have to do to remove the bash bar. On both sides, of course. I also went ahead and grinded the adhesive off of the driver's side. Although I'm not going to use this quarter panel. As I've recently stated, this half cut has been T-boned on this side. Oh look, this one has spot welds on the driver's side. Remember the quarter panel on mine? There were no spot welds right there. But on the passenger side quarter panel, there were. And on this car, there are as well. That's so strange. What an interesting find. After using this band file for about an hour, I have to admit, I do still prefer the traditional spot weld method. I either don't have the technique developed yet to use this efficiently, or maybe this tool is just not the best quality. Some of these turned out okay, but honestly, it's very consistent. And I already went through a whole sanding belt. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna do the traditional style where I can and then use that if I have to. Most of the spot welds are free already. I just need to get to the bottom ones. 
So I might flip this car up right now. I did not think I was going to be able to do that by myself. Now I can see these spot welds pretty nicely. And now I have better access to unroll this quarter panel. Wow, so this is how the bottom of it looks. It's really neat. We're also going to have to drill out the spot welds along here. This is where the frame rails separate. This is a really good way to view it. You can see the seam right here between the two. I went ahead and drilled my pilot divots, not pilot holes, along all of the seams that we need to drill out. Now it's just a matter of drilling them all out. The fun part. We now have majority of the spot welds drilled out and ready to separate from the chassis. I do still need to make a cut along the C-pillar and a cut on the end there where it was welded from the factory. But I did notice that I forgot to take off this bumper bracket. So once we take this guy off, we'll drill out the spot welds along this side and then grind down the paint here so we can see what is left to do. And now that I'm seeing this very closely, you can see that this weld line from the factory is bronze-ish. So I don't know if it's traditional welding or what they use to connect these two, maybe some type of solder or brass, I don't know. The spot welds have been exposed. I drilled some pilot divots now we can drill out this final panel. Everything should be free to take off the quarter panel. So now we just gotta start carefully prying back each panel until eventually the whole thing just falls off. So I was beginning to take off the antenna so I don't get hung up taking off the quarter panel like I did before, taking it off for the very first time. And I noticed that there's this box here in the way and there was something plugged into this box that had a harness coming out and it went out to this little guy and i was like what is this and it's got a throttle cable looking thing on it and it goes through the trunk mine did not have this i have no idea what this is for and i'm hoping one of you guys can tell me so it comes out all the way over here and then it goes to here my guess is that it's something to do with the muffler. Maybe it opens a valve in there or something. I don't know. What do you guys think? That's the only thing I can think of. Dang. Sometimes the box will give you a clue, but in this case, no markings, no stickers, no idea. But now we can see our antenna bolts. It's so strange working on a car from this angle. It's much easier, I will say. This adhesive is no joke. It's so thick down here. Man, you would never know there was rust in here. That's just crazy. These cars hold moisture. I'm not gonna force this off because we need to use this quarter panel, but I feel it catching on something right around here. So I'm wondering if I missed this spot weld. Let's grind off some more paint. All right, well, I don't see another spot weld. Let's see how it looks from the inside. Oh, it's starting to separate. You can see that adhesive flexing. Yes, we got it. Finally got the quarter panel off. And luckily it came off with no issues really. It's in perfect condition to use all over again. It's gonna be fun filling in these holes. But moving on, we gotta get off the outer wheel well next. Because the one that came off of my Gloria was crunched. Now I might save myself a step here since I know I'm gonna have to weld this onto my car eventually. I can grind off this adhesive now because it's way easier to grind it when it's attached to something. And that'll save me the whole step of prepping the metal to be welded. But man, there's a lot more rust in here than I thought. Hopefully this is just surface rust and it'll grind off. They usually put a little buffer in between the outer wheel welt and the quarter panel. This is on most cars that I've noticed and it always holds moisture and causes rust. Not good. I'm definitely not gonna put it back on mine. But oddly enough, when I took off the quarter panel on my Gloria, I had a spot that looked like this and it was actually right here. 
but on this car this is completely rust free but I will say it definitely looks like there's more cavity wax on this car mine did not have this much cavity wax not that they sprayed it efficiently but down here it looks like they did We've got all the metal prep that we needed, and I also went ahead and drilled pilot divots in each spot weld that we need to hit. And if you guys remember when I took off the wheel well from my Gloria, there's one hidden spot weld under this brace, all the way in there. We have all the spot welds freed up, panels are free, nothing's being held on except we do need to make a slight cut on the bottom here because if you guys remember when I took off the outer wheel well on my smashed Gloria, we cut it from here to here and that's because we didn't want to have to take off the entire rocker panel just to gain access to a couple spot welds underneath it. I feel like a five inch weld is a lot better than a hundred plus spot welds. Now before I start trying to pry apart this panel, I need to grind off all the adhesive in the inner wheel well. The amount of adhesive that is here alone is probably more than any other spot on the car. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's the wheel well. It needs to protect the actual metal underneath it. But it also acts as a very strong glue that holds the panel together. <laughs> Now we can begin prying this thing apart. Got most of the adhesive off. And I tried to clean up as much as I could along this side here, or at least as much as necessary. There we go. And just work our way up. There we go. Another piece of the puzzle. Oh, I forgot to take this bracket off. Oops. While I have the half cut face down like this, I might as well start drilling out some of the spot welds that hold on the rear clip. If you guys remember, the game plan is to drill out the spot welds all the way up to here because this panel is the same as this. It basically goes from the rear end of the car all the way to here. Now, this contains a few important items. It has not only the rear frame rails, but the rear subframe mounts as well. Luckily, the rear half of the rails are able to be drilled out as well. There's quite a few of them here. Then I'll also have to use the wire wheel to expose the rest of the spot welds in here because the trunk pan, again, the same panel, goes all the way to this edge. It'll also include this little extension on both sides. So we have quite a bit more drilling to do. Just when I thought we were making some good progress, we're probably halfway. No, we're probably not even halfway. <laughs> it looks like this Gloria was a Hikus car. Mine did not have a Hikus pump on it. You can see the lines go all the way down to here where there's the pump. Pretty interesting. I'm honestly glad mine didn't have it. Just because if I plan on drifting this thing someday, you cannot have Hikus in drift. Hikus is a really good attachment to have for grip and maintaining traction. Well, unfortunately I chipped this bit. It sucks because this bit was doing so well. This is definitely the best spot wheel drill bit I've ever used, but I'm gonna have to go back to the old style that I was using on my 240. And it's just this traditional style where you can basically screw on and off the tips. I'll have to remember where I bought this bit so I can pick up another one. The frame rail spot welds took a lot of force to get out, but we're gonna start working on the trunk pan now. It's always satisfying pulling out a new blade because it cuts so much faster. Sam's FD is going to live at another house for a while. That was a pretty interesting feeling to be able to cruise with an old homie, even though it was just around the block. For those of you who don't know, we lost our friend Sam in a motorcycle accident last year. He was one of those guys that was the life of the party. That man was invincible. Only good things, taken too soon.
But Omar ended up moving his car to another house for now, just to reduce the potential complaints from the neighbors. And this begins day three of working on the Gloria in just one video. And since it is raining and wet outside, I'm gonna work on the car in the garage. I did not get a chance to split apart the half cut yesterday. It got too dark, but we did make some good progress. We'll have to come back to it though. I don't wanna be out here and getting my tools all wet and muddy. I think I'm gonna start with drilling out the rest of the spot welds on the top here, where we can still see them and then along the middle seam as well. And then we'll crawl under and do everything on the bottom. I've just drilled out all the spot welds that I can see on the top here. While I'm up here, I'm gonna start prying away at the panel to make sure that they're all free. It looks like most of them are. I was able to lift up this panel quite a bit already. Everything's all free up here. Let's work our way to the bottom. Looks like we got to finish up drilling the spot welds out of here. That'll free up the trunk pan from the wheel well and then the rest of the frame rail bits. Trying to break this thing loose now. Oh. After a few hours of drilling spot welds, separating panels, I think we're finally able to start pulling this off. It is very loose already. But is it loose enough? I put a jack under here to help break some of that tension loose. What could we possibly be stuck on? Well, looking at this from under the car, and I push up on it, you can see that it's binding right here. So basically the angle of the frame rails are preventing them from sliding out straight. So I'm either gonna need to drill out a couple spot welds on top of the floorboard. That way it frees up the tension in between the rail and the floor or cut it. Since this is the junk rear end, I am gonna just cut a little sliver in it. That way we have access to pull it out. It should definitely come off now. Okay, I think it'll come off now. Yes, we got it. <laughs> the car looks crazy. Finally. Damage fully deleted. Hell yeah. I ended up having to drill out the spot welds to leave on that brace for the subframe studs because the subframe studs were internally welded and then have spot welds to the inner frame rail, which I was not going to be able to have access to get to. So honestly, I guess it kind of worked out that we didn't take off the parts from the parts car because now we figured out how to do it. But all right, looks like we have our work cut out for us. This is a very nice relief. I'm gonna have to think of a way that I can attach the new rear end to these frame rails without having to fold and cut the frame rails off. I don't know, I'll think of something I'm sure. But luckily these frame rails look great. Even the crash side, this is perfectly square. Yeah, you can see how much I had to cut this open. But again, I wasn't too worried because this was the damaged side and I just used this as a learning opportunity to figure out how to do the parts car. But this is where it was most mangled on the Gloria. Super satisfying. Well guys, I'm sorry if this video feels a bit short. It's really difficult to keep a video about drilling out a thousand plus spot welds interesting. And I hope you guys get motivated to work on your own projects at home. And I appreciate all of you guys who have ordered merch. Thank you for your patience. Since I've opened up the new website, there have been some bugs we needed to work around. So thank you for your support through that. And I've potentially found someone that can pull the dent on the 240, but the problem is trying to wait till they're available to do it. Obviously, I'm not gonna just drop the car off and have them do it. I'm gonna be there alongside with them and do the whole process together. 
But thank you guys for sticking around for another video. Don't forget to drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.